you know, black folks not sure of the size of the object, but basically there you go. We got it frozen in the box. JPL does a beautiful job keeping us safe. And let's take a look at the data on that. There's three objects at Fireball last night, and basically what I went ahead and did, it's this one is it's pretty much about the other one. Distance out might have been a little bit more, but this one was real close. Because it was in the box right there. It was close. It was only 0 0.076 IUOA. So that's probably, I know that I've got this stuff I'm going to show you here real fast on the JPL stuff. Hang on. Now on the 16th today, basically uh, Greenwich time, about 7.19 or so, we had this at no more than this closeness. Zero point whatever all you come by us today on the 16th, and that was category five, condition five, and let's go some more stuff. Okay. Now what's interesting is the closeness of this here, that's going to come around again in 2013, and I'll go up to that option. But basically, this would be the closest it could get, which basically ends up being like 16,000 miles. I went and did that all you for you. Okay. Trust me, it's around 16,000 miles out. No more than 17,000 miles. So, and then basically we'll go up, and as you see, you get condition 5 on that. Okay, now let's go over what we had uh, over here on the 12th, I think, or something like that. We had uh, March 15th and whatever, and we had this close, okay? Uh, so, and basically I believe this is our same object, okay? 2012 EM5. Let me go over and see if I got that wrong. Now, YU62, uh, DA14. But anyway, watch these ones because basically uh, we had a condition 8 on this. Yeah, condition 8 right there. See? And that's not good because that's close, okay? And then that condition 8 was 0, 1, 4 on the 12th, okay? And then that's the one that basically comes back around close on that data that I just gave you on the 13th of next year, okay? So what Bino says is basically to me it looks like everything is safe from anything, you know, like I say, and then the meatball is way the hell out in space, you know, and it's huge, it's huge, but it's way the hell out. So this was the close data again on the 13th, I think it's going to be, or the 15th, closest to the Earth is right there. And that's going to be in 2013, as you can see right there in that data, okay? 1,926 minutes, okay? Military time, 1,900 hours, 1,2600 hours. Okay, so that's your object there, DA-14, 212 DA-14, okay? And basically, right now, We know that something blew up a long time ago. That's why I say big bangs all the time because the idea that you got this that's still close around, which is this is that object. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we can go to all this stuff that's close by, and there's tons of other stuff that's close or anywhere in space. So YU62, 2012 EM5, okay, because basically a while back, we'll go down to the data on this, on the 12th. It was only that all UOA. Okay, so we're pretty doggone safe. That's why we get all this stuff at nighttime on the, on Fireball. And we're not in tornado season because basically it will be tornado season in the summertime when we get hot and cold air masses. So the super giants are brightening our ass up and being warm, and we have a lot of material around in the sky because we had this object down here. As I can basically, I think, build that up to 200 to be able to stay in the limelight here. And as we cruise down to it, and basically this bottom object, even though the other ones are bigger, that object there was the same one that I had in the box on the video, and then you had these other two objects. So triangulation on stuff that comes by, uh, vast out in space, it seems like, and you still have this stuff coming around at night. And that was the shot that I gave you blown up was the New Mexico sky, and this is the other New Mexico sky, but basically it's just going to show you pretty much that, which is the same object, okay? So that came close with that close data of that IU, that close to zero, 0.7 or whatever IU or 7 to IU, okay? 0 0.076 IU. So, well, I'll th see what it is real fast, how many miles it was out. So, like I say, that thing coming around, 
next year is going to be just like 17,000 miles away because right now that was 7.06 million miles out okay so when you get into the point zeros below IU it's got to get down to one to be start getting into thousands of miles so there you go there's your computation on that okay so that was that far out so since we've been having a little bit of difficulty with movies we're going to give you a movie here real fast of what happens when we are going through and basically I can just go boom now out in space as you can see that a planet can be just like that like I originally had there and then we will I think I can adjust this so basically you see that and then you get to see the meatball too you see that there what the hell is that that's the meatball yeah so this shot and then you're gonna keep on seeing we're gonna play down through the shots here now okay and now we will keep going through the movie here and basically we make a movie because they don't have a movie up right now for this because they don't want you seeing that big huge meatball well if you go with your meatball and basically we'll go back to that and you can go back in the movie too to, to see it and then we're gonna see some action and there's the meatball and then we'll get the next shot and remember this is in time because basically what that is is your year, month, 13th, and then we're going to keep. And then basically these are shots and then different positions with the satellite, so forth and so on. Different lenses, different shots. Okay, and then we're going to get down to... Because we're going to get a CME. Okay. Different shots. And basically what I'm doing is only blowing up as much as I can with the with the uh, deal. And you can, you can see the meatball still there. Okay. And then get that. And we're going to speed down here. I think you should be able to see this good enough on the left-hand side here as I bring that over there. You should be able to see what we're looking at. Okay, so the, let's get to something a little bit more exciting. And we'll get to this right here. Basically, I'll be able to show you this one first. Okay, I'll try to keep centering them. And then we'll get that shot. And you can freeze these and look at these. Okay, and then we get that shot. CME explosion. And like I say, the cameras turn around, so we, it's not the sun's not in the well on the shot. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is the sun doing the CME out there. Sun and the super giants. Okay, and then I go. I'm skipping one because the other's a different shot. It's the other side, but as you see, and then we also see a hugeness right here too, as you can see there. But you know the meatball or one of the meatballs. And that's what I'm saying. Meatballs. Okay, and then we get this shot. More CME action out there. Planets that are there, take your pick. You should be able to figure it out. Uh, Venus and Mercury is my guess. Okay, and then I'll drop down, and then basically this is the other side. Okay. Okay, and then. And like I'm saying, we're popping from A to B, I think. This is A. Meatball will show up there, too. The left, you're seeing it. Then you got planets back here, too, that are showing up from the filament action. And when I go to this one, is this... Yeah, that's also A. So all these shots are getting taken off of A. Okay, and then we get the last shot. So, meatball action out there, all kinds of stuff out there. A planet down there on the magneticism way the heck down on the below that so like I say more than likely that is Venus and Mercury more than likely Venus and Mercury and let's just scroll back up so you know that we're not messing with you at all and we'll get another shot and I think that, that pretty much you can see the meatball there again to the left you can also see something there there below Super giants, sun, so some massive objects out there in space. Just
screws up through these and the meatball really doesn't go away and we have the CMEs and we'll just stay down here with the CMEs and the meatball because it's not going to go away and let me see if I can blow up and go to this shot so I open up the photo and we just pretty much go down through it and there you go and you can't miss the meatball to the left there's certainly something there it's not no filter disc or anything like that because you've got the sun imploding over here to the right okay there's the meatball to the left and there you go you know that CME and sun action to the right all the way to the right I go let me go up and down and basically this is the one that looks like it has the most CME explosive action to it okay and like I say more than likely it doesn't really matter but more than likely Mercury and Venus and also hang on a second And here's pretty much all the options we pretty much know. And we know the sun. Okay, you've got Mercury there. And as I move up, it should change and give you what it is. We got Venus. So, like I'm saying, that's pretty much more than Mercury and Venus. And then the other th object is more than likely Earth out there, folks. Okay? Along with possibilities that it could be also Mars being seen. But the sun is in the well right here in the middle. Okay? Right there, dead middle. Okay, they don't show it here, but the sun is dead right there. Okay, and you're getting that shot from Mercury. I mean, from the A head here, so you sh you'll be seeing Mercury and Venus like this. So Earth should be in that shot somewhere. So that'll give you a good idea that that's how big the meatball is there to the left. And with that, we knowing that that's Mercury and Venus there. Okay, that we know that Earth is somewhere out there. Okay, it could be that. That could be us there. So the big brightness of the CMEs out there in space, and we could be any one of these two. I'm not positive which, but somewhere with all that light, basically you get to see with the huge CMEs that we are there somewhere because we know that that's Mercury and Venus, okay? And we know that that's the flip meatball out the back door, okay? The darkness of space, that's the meatball right there, okay? So let me go back to Sechi so you know that I'm not messing with you and you know that basically I go up here to that Sechi. And I've basically been showing you these images from over here to the left, okay? And these are a, a, a headshots. And I don't know if they're turning the satellite or what they're doing. So let's go take another look at it. Let's take a look at the earliest part of the CME, which is pretty much this one right here. We'll blow that up, okay? So this is the shot we're going to end up blowing up to for you, okay? And here's the shot before it blows up. And you get pretty much a good look at the big old meatball. And you can even see that there's something planet or something that's pretty damn good size. It's right there too. That is not small. Okay. It's more than likely bigger than Mercury or Venus here. Okay. And more than likely, like I say, more than likely Earth is somewhere up here. And then you got the meatball over there and you got the sun over here. So they're definitely looking at the meatball. They've always seen it more than likely or, or either that or it's at an all-time closeness in the dark behind us and Earth. Okay, let's go to the shot some more. And like I always say, folks, meatballs, because the idea that we've got something down here lower, too. You can't miss that right there. That's below. Now, is that CME action? I hope so, but it sure somewhat looks like. Let's take a look. This is that shot blown up. Drop all the way down right. You see what you see. So, I don't know. But this is definitely the meatball. Meatball of meatballs that we know of. Now, I am not joking. There is something that's supposed to be 747 times the size of the sun out in space somewhere. They know that there is something out there that that's damn big. Okay? And if you watch my videos, go back to it. I really should have took down the name of it and stuff like that they have. But if you watch my videos, I have it in one of them. And you can even get on Wiki 
encyclopedia or whatever the heck or cruise the internet and you can find it and there is an object that's out in space that's 747 times the size of the sun there's some damn object somewhere out and they should, and i guess people are scared of things that are big i don't know 